hello hello people and welcome back to my channel i am so glad you are here today we have a very exciting video are you running out of hand wash as fast as we are in our household especially during this covid 19 season well you have come to the right place because today we will learn how to make your own disinfecting hand wash at home because as kids, you know, with four kids, we're washing hands. You know, we wash hands when they come from outside to play. We wash hands before we eat. We wash hands, of course, when they come out from the toilet. You wash hands when you wipe your nose. Guys, we wash hands we wash, sometimes even after you eat. We are just washing hands and washing hands and washing hands. And the cost of hand wash is not that, I mean, not, it's not that low at the supermarket because for like 500 ml, you pay about 200 shillings like half a liter goes for like 200 peanut shillings now the ingredients i have for making five liters of hand wash i bought them for 200 shillings so the same 200 that will get you 500 ml at the supermarket is getting me five liters guys so please try this you will thank me guys you will save so much money because as you know on this channel we're all about saving money managing our time organizing our homes cleaning our homes guys and anything and everything to do with having a happy and healthy home so before we go any further let me show you our ingredients so they will come packaged just like this all right so you will open it and this is what we have all right This is it. All right, so now, as usual, you will put the color and the perfume aside, all right? Then you'll take the other three ingredients and you'll pour them into your basin. Guys, this is so simple. You will not believe it. Again, guys, I don't know the scientific names of these ingredients, so, but I know when you go to the shop, they will tell you, all right? All I know is that I, I mix them up and I get my hand wash. So, yeah, we have clean hands during this COVID-19 season. So this is done put it away then take the next one remember we have put the color and the perfume aside okay and this is something that's going to take you just five minutes five minutes guys of your day and you have enough hand wash to last you sometimes even two months three months and you're saving so much money we're all about saving money and reducing our household budget, guys. Because I don't know about you, but here, the way things are going, we need every single coin. So, yeah. So, once you've put in your first three ingredients, then you will mix. Make sure everything has incorporated well before you go to the next step. Oh guys, remember EC Lemuko Ugali? We talked about that on my first video of making your own liquid detergent. Yeah, if you haven't watched it, I'm going to link it on this one, okay? Also, how to make your own fabric softener, how to make your own yogurt at home. Guys, we have so many videos on this channel that are going to help you. Please watch, okay? And let me know whether you are finding these videos helpful guys please let me know in the comment section below because we want to help each other one person at a time one family at a time okay all right so my ingredients have incorporated well so i have measured out five liters of water right here so i'm going to pour in two liters okay i'll just eyeball it but if you want to be a bit more precise you can do that but because I've made this for so long, I can tell where, well, how many two liters, how much two liters is. Okay. So I've poured in my almost two liters. 
all right so then i will mix it until everything has dissolved in the water be patient do it gently and softly you know i had said i was going to buy you know that thing we used to have when we were young the one our shosho used to use to mix uchi Keferi. So you know it. I've been saying one day I'll go to the supermarket and get because it will be so good for mixing all these things. But I keep forgetting. If you know where I can find one, guys, please let me know in the comment section below. It, I think it will be so much faster. It's called a keferi in cube. I don't know what it's called in the other languages. But it would come in so handy during this mixing process but remember i said this is where you build your biceps so hey it's not all in vain you get hand wash and you turn your arms it's a win-win situation so all the ingredients have mixed in well then what you're going to do you're going to add in your remaining three liters of water one liter at a time then just you mix it make sure it has incorporated well before you add another liter so you want to make sure everything has mixed in thoroughly so you don't have uh, pockets of water as I say, take your time, don't be in a rush. At the end of the day, this will only take you like 5 or 10 minutes max. Don't worry if it looks watery. Just like the liquid detergent, what happens is when you leave it to stand for like one hour, then it gets thicker, okay? The consistency becomes just right. I've been using it like this again for about two years now and uh, no regrets, just savings. Okay. So I think everything has thoroughly mixed in. So now the next step is to add the color. Right, so I have my color here. For some reason I always seem to like pink for hand wash and I like to put just very little very little just a hint because i like the hand wash looking almost transparent so i will just mix it in try and see if i need more color i'm going to add but i like to put in just a little bit first to see how how it looks it might look a bit opaque, but again, as it rests, it will become more and more clear. Right, I think I'm happy with the color. It's just a very faint baby pink color. Of course, they have different colors at the supermarket. They have different, I mean, at the shop. I don't know what's my obsession with the supermarket. They have different colors at the shop and different uh, perfumes as well for you to choose from, okay? So I'm happy with that color. Then I'm going to put in the perfume. Again, just very little. So after I've added the perfume, I don't know why today the perfume had a bit of color usually it's clear so it has sort of transformed my nice baby pink to peach which is okay I'm still okay with the color I think it's nice and it does smell it smells really good you guys so that's the hand wash those are the ingredients they will give you at the shop so because I want mine to be a disinfecting hand wash, I just normally put just a normal disinfectant. For the five liters, I will put five cupfuls. Five, here we go. So 
so that transformed it transformed it from just mere hand wash to disinfecting hand wash okay make sure you mix in the disinfectant well enough now one of my lovely subscribers asked me whether i put moisturizer in the liquid detergent and i would imagine you guys would want to know whether i put it in the hand wash as well they don't give you any moisturizing agent to put so no it's just going to be like normal hand wash where it's advisable to to put lotion on your hands after you use because just like any other soap as it is washing away the germs and the dirt is going to wash away any layer of oil that you have on your skin so i usually use i mean i like to use original cocoa butter the queen elizabeth one for my hands after days hard work and all the washing and all that i use queen elizabeth cocoa butter you can find it on jumia uh, the original one straight from ghana it's quite good for the hands and the skin and the whole body anyway so yeah guys there we have it our disinfecting hand wash simple and easy let me show you how it looks the ones i had the one i had made last time was a real thing so this is how it came out as you can see guys it's just this is an old bottle so i just keep refilling and just want to show you a small trick i learned i don't know if you guys know this but if you guys are using too much hand wash you just put a rubber band right here can you see this rubber band that i put there yeah so that when especially kids you know kids can tend to like over pump so this makes sure that they only get a small enough drop like just that and that's enough to wash your hands anyway so put a rubber band around the the nozzle of your of your bottle and it's going to reduce the amount that people are using literally by half or even just a third i mean just get enough and not too much so there we go guys i hope you really enjoyed this video of how to make your own hand wash. how are you doing i'm so grateful that you're watching this video i just wanted to jump in and say two quick things the first thing is i want to say thank you so much guys for your support for this channel thank you for subscribing i now have over 500 subscribers as of today i had 540 guys and i am so excited you guys i am i you guys are the best i'm so blessed i'm so humbled i never imagined gosh guys i'm so excited and i just want to say thank you so much and god bless you